My name is Alan Hancock. I'm a instructor here at Dakota County Technical College in the Civil Engineering Technology Program. So Civil Engineering Technology is a, uh, here at Dakota County Technical College is a two-year AES degree and we do mapping, surveying um, of infrastructure, projects, things all around where we see um, but maybe don't know who did it. Um, so roads, bridges, um, airports, um, dams. Um, that's all done. Someone has to engineer that and that's what we do. We recently purchased at DCTC a Mavic 2 Pro drone um, and it's a UAV, um, unmanned aerial, aerial vehicle. It's a uh, quadcopter, so it works like a helicopter. It's got four blades, and the four blades will make it fly and make it stay stationary. And it has a gyro in it, so it, it knows where it's at. It also uses GPS, a thing called Global Positioning System. It tells it where it's at, and it can do mapping based off that. So if you hit the home button, if you're flying around, it'll, it'll come back and land where it took off. It knows it's home based on GPS. So exactly how GPS in your car works. So when you get directions, it's GPS. So same concept. Here at DCTC, we want to make sure that um, students learn an ethical, legal um, way to use drones. Um, and not just flying around, but using it to survey land, inspect bridges. And this is the next up, up and coming technology that can aid in um, the field. So in order to fly a drone, you have to have an FAA 107 license and you must keep visual line of sight on you to be able to see it um, at all times. You cannot fly over crowds, you cannot fly in restricted airspace, and someone that does not have an F, uh, Part 107 license can fly as long as they're within arm's length reach of the, of the licensed pilot. So my students can fly it, they can use stick time, you know, fly it as long as I'm next to them. Um, that will help teach them how to do the survey and hopefully they'll move on and get uh, they don't get the 107 license here, but they'll learn how to do it and then they can obtain that on their own or the company will send them to get that license. So it is tech, cutting edge technology. It's, it's very new. Um, very, very few engineering firms are even using it at this point, but MnDOT is using it for bridge inspection and some other larger firms like Bar, Engineers, Bar Engineering is using drone technology. Now a drone is not very accurate as far as elevation. I mean, it's pretty accurate. So it's about plus or minus about four inches, which is pretty good for some things. For most things, that's not close. We have to get even closer than that. But it aids us in rendering maps by taking just taking normal ground shots. It definitely helps us, and we can streamline and focus on what we really, really need. And then the ancillary, the outside perimeter, is not as is less as important. So we want students to do the. Um, show the full worth of what they can do and it's a tool it's another tool in our toolbox um, that us surveyors do there's less and less surveyors and so we must rely on um, this is just less people going into the profession and there's just a less labor force in general throughout most industries so we must have the best most highly trained uh, graduates from DCTC and, and use all available equipment let's not ignore something that because it's new so I have to learn something new um, but that's okay because we want the students well well trained for the field and they do get that here at Dakota County Technical College